The budget line is a visual representation of a consumer exhausting their income to purchase a bundle of goods. What happens to the budget line when prices change? What happens to the budget line when income rises or falls? This video will cover these topics in detail. In what follows, I will focus on an example with two goods for the sake of simplicity. These concepts can be extended to cases with more than two goods as well. So I'd like to start off by reviewing the budget line in the form of an equation. So this right here is the budget line as an equation. So we have the prices of each good, which P1 is the price of good one, P2 is the price of good two, and then we have the quantity that is consumed by the consumer of each good. So we have X1 for good one and X2 for good two. And then we have W, which will be income or wealth, whichever you prefer. And basically what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to see what happens to the budget line when the price of good one changes or when the price of good two changes or when the income level changes. So the first step here before we actually conduct the analysis of these changes is to first graph a budget line. So let's go ahead and put the quantity of good one on the horizontal axis and the quantity of good two on the vertical axis. And we need to now graph our budget line. So if you watched part one of this series, the budget line is just going to be a straight line with a constant slope. The vertical intercept is the income level divided by the price of good two. And this intercept represents the case where the consumer only consumes good two. Similarly, the horizontal intercept is the income level divided by the price of good one. And again, this represents the scenario where the consumer only consumes good one. We also have the slope, and that is equal to negative P1 over P2. If we had reversed the axes here, it would actually be negative P2 over P1. But in this case, we have good one on the horizontal axis. So we put um, the price of good one in the numerator and the price of good two in the denominator. So now that we've graphed the budget line, we're ready to conduct our analysis on changes in prices and changes in income. So first, let's start with a change in the price of good one. So there are two possibilities to consider here. The first one is going to be, suppose that the price of good one increases. And let's go ahead and say that new price is P1 prime. So P1 prime is greater than the old price, which is just P1. So how will that affect the budget line here? Well, let's observe this through three different perspectives. Each of the intercepts and then the slope. So we can see that the vertical intercept is clearly not affected because the vertical intercept only depends on the income level and the price of good two. On the other hand, the horizontal intercept depends on the price of good one. And in this case, the price of good one is increasing. And since P1 is in the denominator, and since P1 is increasing, that implies that the horizontal intercept is going to be smaller. So it's gonna be further to the left. So let's say that is over here somewhere. And we can also see that the slope is also going to change. P1 is in the numerator here, so we can see that it's going to be steeper. And if we were to interpret that graphically, what I just said, this could be what our new budget line is. And I should also note that, again, the vertical intercept does not change. It's the same as it was before. So that is the first case. Now let's consider another case where the price of good one decreases. So let's go ahead and call this new price P1 double prime. And that is going to be less than the original price P1. So how is that going to affect the budget line? Well, again, using the same logic, the vertical intercept is not going to change. It doesn't depend on P1. However, the horizontal intercept will change. And because P1 is decreasing, and because P1 is in the denominator, it's going to be further to the right here. So we have W over P1 double prime, and we can see that the slope is going to be flatter in this case. So let's go ahead and say it looks something like that. So 
in case two, we see that the budget line rotates counterclockwise. And we see that in the first case, where the price increases, the budget line rotates clockwise. Before moving on to the next example, I'd like to explain intuitively what's going on here with the change in the price of good one. So in the first case where the price of a good one increases, we saw that there was a rotation of the budget line clockwise. So what's going on here, of course, is that good one is more expensive. So the consumer's purchasing power is simply not as great as it used to be. So there's going to be a reduction in their budget set. And to review, remember the budget set is the budget line and everything below and to the left. So the budget set is just everything that is affordable to the consumer. And in this case, there are bundles that are no longer affordable to the consumer. So the budget set shrinks. On the other hand, suppose the price of good one decreases. Well, in that case, the budget set for the consumer expands as the budget line rotates counterclockwise. So in this case, now there are new bundles that are affordable to the consumer because good one is just not as expensive as it used to be. So now let's consider the case where there is a change in the price of good two. So there are two cases to consider for this. First, let's suppose that the price of good two increases. Specifically, it increases to the price P2 prime where the old price was just P2. How is that going to affect our budget line? So if we look at our intercepts first, we can see that the horizontal intercept will not be affected by this. The horizontal intercept depends on income and the price of good one. However, the vertical intercept depends on P2. It appears in the denominator. So because P2 is increasing, we should have a smaller vertical intercept. And that should make sense as well, because in this case, Good two is more expensive, so we should expect the budget set to shrink. So in other words, the budget line should rotate counterclockwise coming from the vertical or the horizontal intercept. So it should look something like that where our new vertical intercept is that guy right there. And you can see here that the slope is going to be flatter as P2 increases, it becomes less negative, so it is flatter. So up next, we have the case where the price of good two decreases. And let's go ahead and say that new price is P2 double prime, which is less than the original price P2. And from this, what we just discussed about the price increasing, if the price decreases, it should follow that the vertical intercept should be higher than it was before. And this makes sense intuitively because the budget set is expanding in this case. The consumer can afford more of good too. So there are more bundles that are possible for them to purchase. So it's going to be a rotation of the budget line clockwise. And it's going to look just like that. And we see that the slope is well, it's steeper in this case, right? Because P2 is in the denominator. So the last scenario I'd like to consider is a change in the consumer's income level where the income level is the variable W in our example. So let's consider the first case where the consumer's income level increases to some value. Let's go ahead and call that W prime. So first looking at the slope, the slope doesn't depend on the income level. So the slope is going to be unchanged. So if we look at the intercepts, we see that W enters both intercepts and it enters them the same way. It's just in the numerator. So we can clearly see that both intercepts are going to increase and there is no change in the slope. So effectively what's happening here is the budget line is shifting above and to the right. So it's just a parallel shift where our new intercepts are as follows. Sorry, that should be a P2. And then W prime over P1 for the horizontal intercept. And intuitively, this should make sense because as the income level increases, the consumer now can afford a whole new set of bundles, which were not affordable before because they just didn't have the income for it. And 
that is going to result in a shift above and to the right, so a parallel shift of the budget line. So the next case to consider is when the income level decreases. Let's go ahead and say that new income level is W double, double prime. And in this case, we actually get the opposite scenario. The budget line shifts below and to the left, and it's a parallel shift. I know that doesn't look parallel, but it, it's supposed to be. And our new intercepts are W double prime over P2 and W double prime over P1. And again, intuitively what's going on here is the consumer's income is reduced. So bundles that were affordable before are no longer affordable to them. That would be all of the bundles that are in this orange region right here. Those are no longer affordable to them. They can only afford everything below and to the left of the new budget line. And that's the new budget set. So that concludes this video. Hopefully I helped you with some of your questions regarding the budget line and how the changes in prices or changes in income can affect the budget line. Um, there isn't really all that much to it, but it's really important to understand the fundamentals behind the budget line. It'll definitely help you when you're dealing with consumer theory. So be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see more videos, stay tuned. I have a lot more videos coming in the areas of microeconomics and macroeconomics.